What's up, guys, and welcome back to In The Shop TV. Today we're gonna get started on our independent front suspension in this old 55 Chevy truck. So in the last video, you'll notice we got an independent front suspension kit. It's a Mustang 2 kit from Speedway Motors. I kind of condense it all into a few boxes right there. I'm gonna get started welding in our boxing plates right now for our frame. So these are the boxing plates that they gave us right here. There's two of them. They're gonna kind of seal up that C-channel frame right there so we have a nice rigid frame to weld our cross member to. So these are kit specific and it's wider at this end and tapers down narrow at this end. Just the same way our frame is wider here and tapers down. So guys, what I'm doing is I'm clearancing the frame, meaning I took measurements and I'm at two and a quarter inches right here at this width, right before it starts to taper down. And I'm taking that same two and a quarter measurement and I'm making it consistent throughout this whole frame rail where the boxing plate is gonna mount. Meaning from here to this mark, all the way to here. I'm doing that on the top and on the bottom of the frame rail. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Then what I'm gonna do, I could just weld them to the face of the C-channel. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to cut the boxing plates lengthwise to fit inside of the C-channel and sit flush with the outside of it. The reason I'm doing that is because the cross member itself comes from the factory cut at 29 and a half inches from inside to inside di diameter. So right now where I have my frame clearance here from one side to the other is exactly 29 and a half inches. Um, so I want that cross member to slide in there nice and tight, nice and straight, so that when I go and tack it and weld it in, it's just totally true and square on all four corners. And it's gonna give us a really good straight foundation to start on for our front suspension. I went ahead and I've clearanced the top frame rail and the bottom frame rail on this side, and I've clearanced the top frame rail on that side, but I have not cut out the bottom. You can see it kind of gets wider here as you go forward. So I'm gonna get the grinder, get that marked out. We're gonna get cut that out and we'll start welding. Now, I'll bet you guys don't have pet lizards that hang out in your shop, do you? See, that's Fred. He stays in here all the time. He can come and go if he wants because he's got that gap under the door. And he comes in here and he eats all the spider eggs and all the spiders. And he hangs out with me when I work. It's my pet lizard. All right, so we've got that one piece just kind of precariously perched in there. It is not square or flush or anything yet. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that it fits, and it does. It's a really nice, tight fit. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna cut up the other one and see if we can get it fit to this side. All right, so that side is in. It's pretty tight. I might have to still shave it down a little bit, but it's in. Now we are doing arguably the most important part. I gotta make sure that this is level um, side to side. So what I'm doing is I have a couple of body shims placed under the floor jack. Um, that got me, I think, pretty much dead on right there. Got the big level out, ensuring that we are dead on. Our frame is level from one side to the other. The reason I'm doing that is to get these boxing plates straight. I'm coming over here, and I've got that straight up and down, dead level. So I think what I'm gonna do right now is I just started in this corner, it's dead on. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just tack this corner in just to hold that spot because I'm pretty happy with it. One thing I do have to check before I even bother with that is I gotta measure from side to side and make sure that we are 29 and a half inches so our cross member fits nice and tight. All right, so this piece is welded in. I started grinding these welds smooth. I haven't got down here yet. We'll get that going next. So far, I am really happy with the fit up. I mean, that is nice and straight, which is all that we could ask for. Okay guys, so the right side is ground smooth, all welded in. Um, I did go ahead and recut a slight bit of a V groove right here. I don't know if you guys, if you guys see that. Um, the reason for that is there was such a tight fit with this plate, um, and that's called the butt weld when it's just really flush with the channel. So it, you, you might not be able to get the best penetration because there's not really any gap. So you're just kind of building up a weld on the outside of the metal. So by cutting this V groove in, I'm hoping to get a little bit more penetration within this plate and the C channel and, and fuse them together really, really well. It seems like it's really strong and I feel pretty confident in it, but it really can't hurt to do things just a little bit extra and make sure that we've got really good penetration and a good bond. Before we go ahead and weld that in place, we've got the other side right here set up right where it needs to be. Um, we're nice and level, up and down on both sides. So I just went ahead and sanded off a little area here. There's one on the level you can't see and another one here, just for my tacks. I'm gonna go ahead and get this tacked in place. And this, I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time preemptively, um, not mess up. I'm gonna kind of notch a little bit more of a gap here where, where this gap is. And uh, I just really wanna get some better penetration and also clean some of this mill scale off so my welds stick better and don't get contaminated.
right, guys, we are all welded in, all ground smooth. I'm pretty happy with that side. This side I filled in those V-grooves, started smoothing them out. All right, right now what we're gonna do is we're trying to take off this mill scale because this is the area right here where our cross member is gonna get welded in and I don't want this stuff on there. I want nice clean bright metal when we go to weld that in. So, ugh, almost done. Yikes. All right guys, those plates are welded in. They're all ground smooth. We are done with that. And uh, that's a good thing because I'm sick of welding and grinding. Um, up next is our cross member, but not this video, guys. Come on back to the next video. We'll get that cross member welded in. We'll get the uh, top pass mounted up. But right now, I'm gonna go shower. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.